Hello my dear friends, this is Mike and we are again in Sunny Isles Beach. This area is also called like a small Russia or little Moscow in Miami because of the huge Russian population in here. And as you see right now behind me there is a store, it's called Matryoshka. Matryoshka is like a Russian traditional wooden doll. When you open one, there is always a smaller one and it goes on and on and on until you get a little bitty tiny one. Okay, so Matryoshka Deli Food. And if you can see, right there in the corner, you can find the uh, also a famous Russian restaurant in Sanyans. Okay, so they have sun-dried mushrooms, uh, organic apple juice, tomato juice so with some plum juice. And look at this, they have a birch juice, very specifically good in Russia. Other than that, they have iron, uh, which is great for your metabolism, and kumis. Uh, kumis is actually a horse milk, which is really good for your metabolism whenever you have hangover. Here we have kvass. It's kind of like a Russian version uh, of root beer different kind of salami, kielbasa, lots of meat. And of course, a uh, famous Russian herring. Uh, it's the, like some kind of like a salty fish, which is great with some uh, vodka and some uh, raw onions. And here we have Russian beer, which is Baltica. Baltica tree is kind of like, I would say, a universal beer. And look at this, Baltica 9. This is hardcore. It has like 9% of alcohol, which is mainly used for those who wants to get a quick effect. And of course, pickles. Pickles, Russian pickles are very famous. Here we have uh, sprouts, in Russian we call it sproty, which is actually uh, really good, and uh, Russian different variations of chocolate. Alionka, this is actually our famous Russian chocolate. Lots of mayo. Don't get me wrong, but they do love mayo. Pancakes like uh, strawberry crepe, and of course famous pilmeni. They have uh, pilmeni with lamb, uh, some pilmeni with chicken, pork, and beef. All kind of different variations of pilmeni, which is a great signature from Russia. And as you see, they are all made in US. And here we have some sunflower seeds, which is quite common. Uh, whenever you spend some time and watch a movie. It's kind of like a little snack, like eating chips in America. Russian waffles. They're totally different from American waffles, but um, that's a quite a Russian signature as a dessert as well. Cookies, mm, all kind of cookies. Interesting. And here's Russian biscuits. And this is Trianiki. Wow, they have uh, even with the strawberries. So it's kind of like glazed version of American donuts. And Bubliki. <laughs> Sushki Bubliki. And here is Russian chips. Yeah, I used to have those when I was in college in Russia. And 
and uh, sun-dried and smoked all kind of fish which is a great for your leisure whenever you have some beer and Russian condensed milk oh I love those they are actually really good with coffee or with a the tea they already have some preps made with the Russian style cooked already for you uh, all of these looks yummy and Russian barbecue shashlik oh wow looking really good they have all kind of uh, uh, well, grilled chicken um, donairs and vegetable plates uh, like beef or stuffed uh, peppers and again chi chicken shashlik this is called kulich it's a special pastry made for Russians Easter and if you are feeling really homesick and want to try some Russian soup here's the instant soup for archo and also they have a mushroom vegetable soup and also rasolnik and of course famous ukrainian borscht and of course caviar all kind of different kind of caviar because that's a definitely a russian thing so if you are from russia and feeling homesick that definitely would be a great stop if you live in miami or if you are an american and want to surprise some of your Russian friends that would be a great place to stop as well or just try something unique and unusual for yourself or as a new experience